I did about 18 different movies and just six weeks ago. Bad moment, things can trigger us, thwarts us. Don't be a doormat to anyone. We have affirmations, just release. First of all, a very welcome pillar. So very, very welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks so much for having me on your show. Thank you so much for being here. It's oh. great to have you. Clarissa, you are fabulous in your field. You are a media personality, producer, director, writer, public speaker, and also a former supermodel. Oh my, my, you're doing a lot of things. So how do you decide? Well, to I'm a lot older than you are. <laughs> I'm a lot older than you are. So I just have done more things. But you don't look that much older. You are so sweet and young and pretty and beautiful and everything. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Well, I'm coming on 63 in April. So not so sweet, not so, well, yes, sweet, but not so young. <laughs> ah, but as you know, the show's team, it's like age is just a number, a damn mathematical number. So that's the number you're right exactly i'm 16 and people just underestimate me that i cannot host a show but i'm doing it up to you you're doing an amazing job i'm so thrilled for you congratulations thank you so much so you are doing a lot of things so how yeah. you decided to choose this particular field as a career you know, when I was young, like you, I always wanted to be a model. So I went into New York City and went to some agencies and was taken and became a model. I traveled and did many things. Now, these are the times before computers and cell phones and Internet. And, yeah. um, things were quite different then. Um, and then I decided, you know, I wanted to be an actress. So I, I did about 18 different movies and then I wanted to produce television all while living in Italy, which means I was in a different country and learning a new language. So it all became very, um, very fun because I was doing what I was really passionate about. And, you know, as a young girl, I was Mary Poppins in the kindergarten play. So I knew that I loved the stage. I loved a microphone and I loved the live audience. I loved having that interaction with live audiences. So I worked uh, on television uh, many, many, most of the time with the live audience. And, um, and that's kind of where it really all started in my earlier career. I moved back to the United States and I started an, an online multimedia platform, which is television, it's video, it's a podcast and a digital magazine. So this is called In the Limelight, and I help to showcase solopreneurs and entrepreneurs that want to have raise their brand awareness and they want to get their message out to the media whether it be social media or traditional media. Oh, that's just amazing. So like you just told about, like you are the founder and CEO of the Limelight Media, a multimedia platform. So can you tell us more about it and the podcast yeah. that you host? Yeah, absolutely. And I love it because I have created something that's called the seven touch system. And what that means is if you give me 20 minutes of interview, I put you through immediately you go live to eight, 10 platforms then you we take the recording and it goes on to Zoo, it goes on to Roku, Amazon Fire, Apple TV and 100 other smart TV apps after that we put it to 11 different podcast platforms all of the best then I have a digital magazine so the article goes in the magazine your interview will also be in my newsletter it will go out to all of my social and I also send out a news release about what your uh, interview was about. So it's seven touches where you have a really great return on your investment to come back in and say, wow, OK, great. Um, I did 20 minutes because we're busy. We don't have a lot of time to look for the media, call the media, in, you know, uh, email the media, find the proper, because you have to also find the correct media for your industry. I would not call a beauty show on TV if I was a plumber. You know, so you have to know how to find the proper channels for your media or for your industry. So it all takes time and I make that just a very easy process for you. Wow, that's just amazing. A new thing that I heard like till now, it's just something innovative. That's amazing. Wow. So 
Clarissa, can you tell our audience about your forthcoming book entitled The Self-Esteem Regime, published by Roman and Littlefield? Yes. And your experience working on the same? Yeah. So Roman and Littlefield published my book just six weeks ago. It is called The Self-Esteem Regime, and it's an action plan for becoming the confident person that you were meant to be. It's 12 chapters, and it's written for women and girls so wow. that they can live in happier, healthy self-esteem. You know, these have been very difficult times. First of all, being a teenager is already kind of like, you know, it's so much discovery and sometimes it comes with a lot of uncertainness that you need a little extra guidance and help and understanding about what is this thing called life? And I totally understand that. I'm suffering from that. <laughs> exactly. So even when you're my age, believe me when I tell you, it doesn't always get easier. We are always, always a work in progress. We are always learning something and self-esteem, it ebbs and flows. It comes and goes with, you know, depending on what's happening in your life. If you're in a good moment or a bad moment, things can trigger us like the loss of a job, a loss of a relationship, a loss of a loved one. Uh, there are many different things, you know, a, a fight with a friend. I mean, there are many different things mm -hmm. that can uh, get us to a point where we can question ourselves, you know. So uh, living in happy, healthy self-esteem is something that helps us. It supports us through our path or it guides us very easily to be able to affront what life is giving us with more ease, with more grace, and with more glory. So, you know, you need to be, learn how to advocate for yourself. You have to be able to, you know, life is always going to give you what you put up with. Life will give you what you are accepting from it. So if you're accepting a bad relationship, you're going to stay in the bad relationship, you know. I say don't be a doormat to anyone. Um, don't live in shame. Don't live in guilt. You know, you, you are at all deserving. You deserve to be loved. You deserve mm. to live in a peaceful home. You deserve to be respected, right? Um, and so within the book, in the 12 chapters, we have case studies, we have affirmations, we have something I call clarion call, which is another uplifting moment. We have Clarissa's corner, which is another moment with me that I give you a little extra oomph, a little extra push. Um, and there are, there are exercises to do also that are extremely, you know, remember when you start to work on yourself, it's not always going to be an easy path. It might sometimes be a little more challenging, shall we say. So this is why I love the, my book. I'm getting great feedback from the book. I had a woman in my mastermind the other day said to me, Clarissa, this book, it's changing my life. Mm -hmm. Thank you. It's changing my life. Sorry. So, and she's also, I think she's in her 50s. So again, we are challenged by life all throughout our existence on the planet. So we have to know how to have the tools, the resources, and what I say is to stand in your stead, to stand firmly rooted with what you know to be true. What is true for you? That was so beautiful. Like uh, to all the ones who are listening to the show right now, please go and buy that book. It would be amazing. I can tell you before reading. I, I will surely read that. That's amazing. Wow. Like, it would be so interesting to read something which is especially on women and females, you know, these teenage years and the things which we encounter in our lives. We need a support and that book will really help. So everyone yeah. go check it out. Thank you for that. You know, we start the book with release. I think one of the strongest words that we have is just release. Yeah. Release what, we, what you've been taught if it doesn't work for you. Sometimes it means releasing what you learn in within the family community, within the family tribe. It may serve, some of it may serve you in your truth and other things you may change a little as you, as you wish, uh, as it rings true for you. Boundaries are extremely important. Uh, and you can set your boundaries. Boundaries means you teach people how you would like to be treated. So true, like boundaries are very necessary, not for females, but for males. It's a necessity of our life. So yeah. that is just relating to the theme of today's show. So moving on to today's theme for the show, I think 
women need to stop making themselves smaller and quieter for men women should be authentic to themselves and others should be confident stop being the people pleaser speak up when you need set your boundaries very important hold them rest for yourself have your own interests and friends clarissa what are your views on the same you know you are so wise for a 16 16- year old young young lady it's amazing to hear you and i love that please continue on that path and please continue to share that kind of wisdom with your peers because they need more they need more uh inspiration and motivation just like that you are a very exceptional young lady um thank you so much you it's so true it's very true we have to Apart from creating our boundaries, um, we have to understand that we can do, as I said, we can do these things with ease, grace, and glory. We don't have to set up a boundary in an angry way. What I will say to you is if I cha- if I set a boundary, let's say, excuse me, but I, I do not like to be in a conversation where someone is yelling at me. If I start to yell with that person, it escalates. If I stay in my strong in my stead and I keep my tone low and kind and precise in my message eventually they will come back down to me or they will get so angry that but they will never forget that you you have set a boundary so remember that setting a boundary it's not always going to be well received but if it's your truth and if it's how you want to be treated respect that you deserve remember that you deserve to live in peace and in a peaceful place, and in a peaceful relationship, in a peaceful home. So true. I totally agree with you. Boundaries are very necessary for any relationship. Or like you are with your parents, you are with your friends. It's very necessary. It's part of your uh, self-esteem. Like yes, uh, your self-respect and self-esteem comes before everything. And you have to treat yourself like above everyone like there's a very nice little poem by spencer mcfarland on the same and i would love to say some of its lines like an advice for all the females out there like be loud and gross and take up space stop saying sorry and start saying don't interrupt stop saying because i have a boyfriend and start saying because i said so say no and say none of your business take selfies and don't laugh yes. at jokes that aren't funny be snide and sarcastic and wear your hair the way you like it help yeah. out other girls i'm be vocal about what makes you mad be masculine and feminine and both and neither and be unapologetic don't set aside your comfort for boys as equals am i right clarissa oh my goodness gracious yes you must continue this work and you must continue with your show and you must continue to be getting the, your word out to so many more people to women especially everywhere you know the self-esteem regime is as i said there are many uh men that have said to me clarissa you know don't speak only to the women here you know this is important for men also so i also want to bring that into the mix let's not forget that men also struggle with self-esteem and we need to be uh understanding of that but there are a lot of men that have been taught oppression and they need to be guided into this new way for them a new way of being for many men in different countries and in different cultures it's not quite that way but i know that in your country it still can tend to be that way yes. and we need to be continuing on this march on this effort and in this way to be teaching women everywhere that they are powerful they are potent and that they are limitless they are unstoppable when they have a you know a collective voice and an individual voice so don't forget that a lot of individual voices all brought together makes one big collective and only in that way are we going to be able to really change the old paradigm because that's old paradigm and some people are still holding on to it right so we need to to with ease joy and glory i do not believe in violence to, you know to put to to tend a hand and to un, let them help them understand that no other human being on the face of the earth should be treated poorly yeah like it's so true because uh women have to understand before blaming others for their problems we females have to understand what our power is and what we are capable to do instead of always underestimating ourselves we have so much power we are the superpowers and as i always say 
we can deliver more than babies. We I love that. Yeah, we can deliver more than babies. That is beautiful. I love that. I'm going to have to use that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but, you know, remember also that self-esteem means being able to see yourself as flawed, but to still hold yourself in high regard because we are not perfect beings, right? Yeah. But imperfect or imperfections does not mean that we do cannot still love ourselves. Here's another thing that I think is really important and I hope that you help to spread. We always are hearing, I am enough, I am enough, I am enough. Oh my God, you are so much more than enough. You are so much more powerful than enough. You are so much more uh, limitless, as I said before, I love that word than enough you know there are so much there's so much more in the way of who we are as as individuals as human beings and I'm not going to say just as women but as human beings we are so much more than enough enough is so restrictive it's just it's not the proper word yeah, yeah. that's why I'm very very passionate about this this for me is a manual it's a mission and it's a movement. And I'm so glad that you're helping me with this movement in India. It means the world to me. Thank you so Thank much you. for such graceful words. Are you speaking about me? Oh my God, I'm just on cloud nine. <laughs> Thank you so much. So as you said that no one is perfect. And yes, it's true. No one is perfect. Like I would like to say that perfect is just an imaginary word that we use to empower ourselves, to motivate ourselves to do more. Perfect is just an imaginary word according to me. Because we, every, like every one of us have some flaws and that's great. It, that makes us unique. We would have same qualities like I have and the others have, then there would be no difference and there would be no variety. There would be no variation. Sure. How would we learn with each other? So that's a pattern of life in which we are living. And I would say that perfect is just an imaginary word. So stop trying to be perfect for someone. Accept yourself and accept that reality because you yeah. are just amazing. Absolutely. You know, and don't compare. Here's the other thing. It's self-esteem 101, the very elementary part of self-esteem. Stop comparing yourself to others. It sounds very banal because we hear it all the time. But golly, there's always going to be someone that you perceive as prettier, more intelligent, gets all the boys, she's the beauty queen she's the homecoming queen she, you know yeah okay great that's fabulous but you get to be you you were put on this earth by a divine source that is saying to you you get to write the script you get to direct the script you get to produce the script you get to distribute that film of your life as you're as you're doing it to the entire universe the, you know the internet for now has us we ha it's infinite why would you not live love to relish in the fact that you are singular everything that had to combine you know in the universe to make you do you think that the universe and it's all all-knowing power didn't know exactly what it was doing when it made you it knew exactly who you were and who you were going to be. It was be you, so go make the best you. Yes, these are the titles which we have given just for our own entertainment and fun. But this, like, we are so much more than that. We are not just the beauty queens. You don't have to get the title of the beauty queen because you are beautiful. Everyone yes. out there is beautiful. Everyone yeah. has their own features. Everyone has their own expressions and thoughts. So everyone yeah. is beautiful out there. Like. I don't like the system of giving someone the title. It just makes others discomfort. But as you know, this is the society. So you have to live with that, considering yourself the beautiful, considering yourself the much more than that. You are beautiful and you are amazing. You are the superpower. So accept yeah. that. Yes, yes, go girl. That's amazing. That's so amazing. You are, you are such a joy. Oh my God. Thank you so much. And you are so energetic. My God. It's so lovely to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome so we are changing lives and we need to be uh, you know getting the message out you know strong strongly and firmly uh to all women all ages all countries everywhere again that the message is you are more than enough because you know what enough means the definition is as much as required yeah so what i walk up to a woman and say hello i think you are as much as required no enough is not enough you are so much more open yourself up to those possibilities open up to all the possibilities you know people say as a young girls they'll say i don't know what i want to be i really don't know who i am okay great 
but I'm not going to let you get up from the table until we get a spark. I'm going to ask you enough questions so that you say, I'm going to say, okay, do you like animals? Do you like, you know, beauty makeup? Do you like fashion? Do you like science? Are you really good in math? Where are your passions? If you could do it for free, that's where your passion is. That's what you need to grow in life. So for me, I love talking. <laughs> I love being on a stage and I love a microphone. I've made my life in media. <clears throat> I've made my life in front of a camera, on a runway, in different ways. I've had different communications through magazines, television, radio, podcasts, whatever that is. <clears throat> this is what I love. And I love helping women, especially women, live their greater good. So if you're if you're feeling, to, and again, after these last two years, especially with COVID, people are feeling loss. Yes. They're feeling a loss of hope, a loss of faith, a loss of family, a loss of friends, a loss of money, a loss of jobs. Everything is, mostly everything is a loss. Now, I'm not trying to be difficult or, or depressing, but I'm trying to be realistic. So a book like this is going to help you pick yourself up and start anew with new verve and new vision and new ideas as to where it is you really want to be next year at this time, six months from now, 10 years from now, write it down. Where do you want to be? What is your life going to, to what is that film going to play at, look like at the cinema? Yes, absolutely. And I highly recommend that book. Go check it out and don't wait here. Let's take, just go and buy that book. Add to your card shop because that is a masterpiece. It's the self-esteem regime. It's and a regime is an organized way of doing things. So I have 12 chapters all organized for you. You start with releasing and then you go on from there. And I will tell you that uh, when you get to the last chapter, which is what well, we have respect as, as 11, remember I said respect, but then we have reciprocal <clears throat> and we start to learn about the reciprocal un uh, uh, forces in the universe and the reciprocal ways that we give and take. Remember that a lot of people have difficulty receiving they have difficulty taking, they have difficulty opening up and you have got to constantly keep yourself open and keep yourself open to the universe again and all the possibilities that it can bring to you if you remain in, in, in an open and accepting place. So true. You have to just realize your potential. You have to just realize what you love doing. You have to not yep. just go out there in public and copy what your friends are doing or your family is forcing you to do. You have to just have to follow your passion. You have to exactly. recognize your dream, what do you love to do. So Clarissa, what do you think on the same, like we discussed, females usually compromise and suppress themselves to please others, especially men. What are your thoughts on females acting as people pleasers? Yeah, well, that's the first thing. That, the next thing we have to work on is, you know, you, can, you stop pleasing everybody. Are you pleased? Are you pleased with yourself? Are you pleased with the way you are relating to yourself and to others? Are you pleased? Are you living your truth? Are you living in integrity? This is a huge word. Are you living in integrity with yourself? Or are you trying to be like your girlfriends? Be what the guys want or try to make your family happy. Yes, of course, we love to have the accolades from those around us. But if we're doing everything for everyone else, that's like, first of all, it's exhausting. And second of all, we're not living in our own truth. Who are we then? Who are we? Now, I understand younger girls are still in discovery, and I understand that. But you will discover that there is no safer place, there is no greater place than home in your own heart, home in your own head, and having them both meet and greet and be happy with one another. So your thoughts can take you away, but you know right here, in the deep heart of your soul, if what you're doing is right or wrong, good or bad, is it fulfilling or is it depleting you? I totally agree with that. You have to not copy people again and you have to not please people. First, see where your happiness is going. First, please yourself. Are you happy? Are you satisfied? Are you living your life? Then go out and then check it. Yeah, and if it's about the boy who, you know, you like and he doesn't like you, he wasn't meant for you. We can go around the, the, the world and the globe with different faiths. And whomever you believe in, whoever you pray to, I use the universe because it's all-encompassing for all of us. But the universe already knows that 
he wasn't the one for you. You just didn't know it yet. So sometimes you're going to have some heartbreak and sometimes it's going to feel a little uncomfortable. Um, but as you know, you will find the person that is meant to be in your life. And again, some people are only meant to be there for a season. Some people are meant for a reason and some people are meant for a lifetime. So understand that also about relationships, but you must always be living in intention integrity with yourself yeah rightly said that if he's not the one just don't go and be after him because you cannot beg for love love happens itself now right you cannot ask someone to love you so you'll find someone gradually i know it's hard you would be really into him and stuff but it's life and your self-esteem and your self-respect comes first you cannot yes. just suppress that in impressing that guy who doesn't care about you like yeah you should be happy saying no to a guy who think you are weaker than his thoughts yeah well if he's not respecting you absolutely yeah if you take these steps it might happen that some men will turn aggressive and hurt you if they feel their ego is being challenged but exactly. you will have to stay strong fully one day we can get to a world where we can exist as we are as we like in peace but for that you need to take those small steps. You need to just stand forward. You need to just maintain what you are and you have to maintain an image for your own self. Absolutely. Uh, and, and by the way, it's not always easy. Eh? This is not easy work. Yeah, it's not easy you know? at all. Uh, it's challenging. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're going to love somebody very much and you're going to know in the pit of your stomach, your intuition will never, ever let you down. So you will always know, you always have the feeling in the pit of your stomach or in the back of your head somewhere, you know, that your intuition is guiding you. You must listen to it. It will always tell you what, what is and what isn't right. And that's living in integrity with yourself. Remember that. Yes, you have to not let that voice coming out. Like you have not suppressed that voice coming out. You have to exactly. just listen to that because that intuition is so strong. Is there any message or any advice that you would like to give to the audience, especially all the females out there because this season two is all about females? Yeah, I know. I want you to, first of all, I would highly recommend getting the book. And by the way, it's not like I make a lot of money on the book because I don't. What I said before is important. It's a manual, it's a mission, and it's a movement. I want women everywhere to be living in happy, healthy self-esteem. If your self-esteem is not intact by the time your feet hit the ground in the morning, you're going to have difficulty with the relationship to, with yourself and definitely difficulty with relationships with others. So why not, you know, learn the tactics, learn the tools, look, you know, look at the resources, do the work now so that you can make this journey easier as you go. Remembering that life is going to bring its difficulties, there's up and down, ebb and flow, like I said, in and out, dark and light, but you're always going to be able to navigate the storm when your feet, again, are firmly planted, when you know who you are and where your truth lives. Wow, absolutely. And I highly recommend her book. Go Thank check you. it out. Like this thing is very important to know because if you will start taking steps from right now, then you are better for your present and as much as like better for your future generations also. So you have to set an example. You have to work on yourself because you are important. You are precious and you have to just learn about what your important uh, importance is and you have to just work on yourself because no one is superior than you you come first so clarissa how was your experience today on the show make a change let's drive to more unashamed conversation well i felt you i think you're just such a joy i love what you're doing i love the work you're doing i love the mission that you also are on to empower women listen to your show to empower those friends of yours that are near you and dear to you and to empower other women in your country and all around the world so as i said don't stop you're on the right you're on the right path we need more people that are tr are getting these very very sage messages out to the world thank you so much thank you so much for being here today it was so lovely to talk to you clarissa <laughs>